The fourth one that we want to talk about is they're always right. <laughs> oh. They are always right. Always. Rarely, if ever, ever. admit fault, inaccuracy, misspoke. Oh, I, I didn't mean that. They're always going to figure out a way to shift blame, shift focus, and basically never be culpable for any of their actions, behaviors, or words. No one wants to be in business with that guy. Or gal. No. And it's not, it's not fun to be on the receiving end of that. Can I, uh, can, I want to, I want to throw some props to a fellow podcaster who was recently caught in a, in a conundrum with this very thing and watching this person take responsibility and say, I could be better was something that I loved hearing and seeing. And I thought it was wonderful. And Joe Rogan recently had gotten into a bit of a, a tiff with some of his listeners who feel that he didn't grill Jack Dorsey hard enough on some questions and that they've had. And of course, Joe is, is wonderful. We listen to his show Top of his game and he, but he does put out a lot of content. And because of that, sometimes he's not as well prepped as he could be for certain shows. There are always misfires. How many, we have so much stuff going on. We're trying to do a show week. And sometimes I come in here a bit um, scattered and I'm trying to put it together because I want to give the best show that I possibly can. And we certainly know what that's like. And we know that Joe's going to do that and put, and so with the flack that he had gotten, not only published one online, but then uh, when his next guest, Sam Harrison, and, and talked about, yes, that was my fault. Yes, I blew it. Yes. I'm going to make up for it. I'm going to eat some humble pie and some crow, and I'm going to work to get better. And I let one slide, and I, and I got called out for it. And I just thought, right on. Yeah, and it's not easy to admit fault when the stakes are that high when millions of people are paying attention and you're like hey i screwed up i, I didn't get it right how easy would it have been in that moment for Digging him his heels and go you know what fuck you guys yeah you're gonna listen to whatever i do so i'm moving on like that could have been and i've seen those kind of people i've seen those people uh, a lot and so hats off to joe now when we're talking about being always right, we're not talking about playing board games or Trivial Pursuit here or just being the smartest person in the room. We're talking about, again, gaslighting, changing the backstory, changing the past so that they're always right. And they will do this in overt ways. They will do this in highly manipulative ways. They will even lie and cheat behind your back to prove to other people that they were right if they find that you're in complete disagreement and you've dug your heels in. So... Imagine being friends with someone, having a falling out, and then behind your back, they're running around and saying all these things that didn't happen because mm -hmm. you're saying they're not right. Yep. These are behaviors of someone who's a toxic individual. 